And this is Dr. Ming Wang uh, from Nashville, Tennessee, uh, describing a case of ultrasound-free all laser cataract surgery. As you see, this is a uh, lens nucleus has been pre-laser chopped by LensX femtosecond laser, and I'm using a cannula filled with viscoat to push the um, anterior capsule towards the center. Uh, the pearl here is to start proximal towards the center and uh, then push the distal. The reason for that is that um, if you start distal, then you will stir up the cortex and proximal is most difficult to pull out. Now I go in with a neutral forceps and um, making sure that everything is all free all the way and pulled it out. And uh, this ultrasound free all laser carousel technique is basically take, taking advantage of the fact that um, lens X femto second laser can actually fragment on uh, the lens in vivo inside the capsule back. Here's the hydrodissection, and uh, so we basically you see the whole lens nucleus is flowed into the anterior chamber. So as I said, this technique is taking advantage of the fact that the uh, femtosecond laser can fragment the lens in vivo inside the capsular bag. And uh, so then, however, it is still enveloped in the epinucleus. So the lens is still one piece. It's just um, being pre-chopped by the laser inside the capsule bag. Here I'm using a cannula filled with viscoat to basically elevate making sure the whole piece in the anterior chamber and push back the, um, the uh, cap posterior capsule. You see that um, when I put the cannula behind it, you see the cylindrical and crosshair uh, laser chop pattern uh, down with this lens X femtosecond laser. And um, so I put some visco also in front of it to protect the um, cornea endothelium. So this uh, ultrasound-free all-laser um, cataract surgery technology is basically um, basically um, that uh, is a technique to take advantage of the lens fragmentation capability laser. Here you see spatula and uh, the big ball, what I call it. I call this set of instrument my uh, cracker. So I basically anterior posterior opposition crack the uh, lens nucleus into small pieces. What I found that the femtosecond laser does more than just simply make a cut in the nuclear substance. Because it's a shock wave, as we know, is a plasma generation, a generation of 10 to the 23rd or something like that, a number of electrons in a very small volume. And the, the shock wave push, uh, plasma wave push the pieces, uh, tissue aside. So it actually softened the, the lens tissue uh, adjacent to the laser cut. So now you see actually the, um, the centerpiece. And this is a center cylinder. Typically, as you know, in most of cataracts, this is the hardest piece. So I'm kind of going to pause here just to show that this is a femtosecond laser pre chopped piece of the nucleus. As I said earlier, uh, what we discovered through the development of this uh, ultrasound uh, free all laser camera surgery technology, now I chopped the piece into it now, is that the laser does more than just simply make a cut in the nucleus tissue. It actually softened the lens tissue adjacent to the plane of the cut due to the shock wave, plasma wave um, tissue separation mechanism. Here I'm just using the cracker to cracking and opposing and so that the, all the pieces basically end up into very tiny little pieces. And I think this is uh, much more efficient than standard phacal chop in the sense that in a standard phacal chop you have two instruments, the phacal tip and the chopper coming from the same direction. Since we're in the anterior chamber, we have the second instrument can go behind the material, so you can actually oppose each other 180 degrees, much efficient chopper. So here, we left with basically anterior chamber full of a small, small uh, fragments of um, 
the uh, lens. So as I said, uh, this technique as uh, you know works well because the ability to AP a position to fragment those lens pieces since the lens is anterior chamber. Now I put some visco behind and in front to protect the cornea endothelium. And um, so I'm going to go in there in a moment with my phaco tip. The key, another pearl for this uh, ultrasound free or laser cataract surgery uh, technology is that um, the phaco tip needs to be bigger uh, in its pore size. Standard phaco tip is 0 0.9 millimeter, but I use the biggest one that is available that is 1.1 millimeter in diameter in phaco tip. So of course such a large pore phaco tip is not very safe to do to use in the uh, capsular back but for the anterior chamber approach of course that's not a concern. So now I see very efficient appositional technique and uh, the reason I need to shake the phaco tip is because to generate some uh, turbulence swirl of the current so to help those pieces come into the port so basically you just repeat the same action and um, you know um, that they're far away from the uh, posterior capsule yeah. so here is the, at the end of the case uh, for time's sake I jump to the end you see that even beautiful capsule is well centered 100% circular and even overlap with optics which obviously has uh, going to uh, really greatly help us for the effective lens position and the final refractive power so those are the unique capability of femtosecond laser so this is a case of uh, ultrasound free or laser cataract surgery technology taking advantage of the ability of laser to fragment the lens in vivo this is Dr. Ming Wang from Nashville Tennessee